Well, hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Acres. In this video, I wanted to show you guys some things and uh, talk about something. And uh, this is something that I haven't seen around here ever. Um, and it just goes to show you what can happen when you have a major, major storm come through. Right now, we are in a lull. As you can see behind me up here, there's a little bit of blue sky. But uh, starting tonight and all through tomorrow, we got a storm coming with 50 plus mile an hour winds and seven inches of snow. So we got a blizzard on the way. And I'm just going to show you what things look like around here. I can't walk through the yard because the snow is far too deep. But I'm going to show you some things and, uh, and then talk about some more things. Dug out the entire um, propane tank. So when we have to be filled up by the propane truck, the worker can come up in here with his long hose and fill in the tank. On top of the tank, the snow was up to where my finger is. Basically, the, the size of the tank had another uh, size on it of just made of snow. So it looked like there was two tanks right there. And I knocked it all off with a shovel and I dug all the way through the yard. And uh, the snow has been coming off the roof. And uh, it's very deep out there in the front yard. And I will show you here on the backyard uh, just how deep it is. This is Gigi's pen. i just been clearing out right here instead of clearing out the whole thing because she's just a little dog. She don't need a lot of space but here's what has been coming off of our roof you guys in the backyard all that slid off our roof and you can see it's almost to the top of the fence around the garden so if i were to step out in there that that right there would be up past my waist deep of snow so it was two and a half feet on the ground and two and a half feet that uh fell off the roof and it has been melting down this was mounted up way higher but uh, yeah, that is a lot of snow there, you guys. And um, the yard is just buried. Well, uh, Bridget and I went uh, today um, to the store and we went to Aldi's. And what I'm gonna show you guys in this video is pretty much what all the stores in this entire area, Western New York and Northwest Pennsylvania are going through. It's not just this particular Aldi's, which is about 15 minutes from our house. But a lot of these stores like uh, Tops, Wegmans, Walmart, Aldi's, all these different grocery stores are going through the same thing. They're running out of food, you guys. There's uh, The shelves are going empty. There's There was hardly anything in the store. Uh, all the fruit products were all gone. All the yogurt products were gone. There was absolutely no milk, not one quart of milk. The milk was completely wiped out. There was only just a handful of uh, different packaged meats. The meat counter was almost completely gone. There was absolutely no bread. There was uh, no cereals, no nothing, no uh, lunch meat, no cheeses. The, the frozen foods were wiped out. And they said at all these, because I asked today when I was in there taking these two clips, that they said that the trucks that supply their stores um, are stuck down in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, way down South Pennsylvania. And because of the, the major snowstorms that have been passing through the Northeast and uh, they're, they're trapped on highways that have been closed down and they're not plowed and the trucks are just sitting on the two lane highways, not able to go anywhere. And it's, it's been like that in Buffalo. It's been like that in Erie, Pennsylvania. It's been like that uh, down in Bradford, all over the place uh, where semis are not being able to deliver their goods. And this just goes to show you with the just in time system that you have a couple days disrupting the system and how stores could literally run out of items to sell and would be forced to close. All these is soon gonna be closing. If they don't get a truck by tomorrow, there's gonna be nothing to sell you guys. It's, it's literally completely wiped out. And we got another blizzard on the way with, nice, like I said, 50 mile an hour winds and seven inches of snow, which is going to mean more truck delays and everything. So anybody that is watching this video in the Northeast, if there's stuff you need to stock up on, you better get it while you can get it, you guys, because these storms are supposed to continue all the way into next weekend. And it's only Tuesday and these stores are going to be closing because they're just running out of uh, stuff to sell. You guys, they're running out of food. They're running out of uh, eggs and milk and cheese and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, it's been getting bad, you guys, and we got a hell of a lot more snow on the way, so we're not done. We're just in, like, the eye of the storm right now, like a hurricane, before the next half comes, and it's going to get brutal. So uh, I'll keep uh, you guys updated, and I'll have some more plowed videos coming, I'm sure, as well as other content. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.